guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This one we're going to be going to go through the Mutant Mayhem Leatherhead. So we'll quickly just go through the card art here. So you've got the turtles all going down the side there. Again, the same type of graffiti as all the other card art's got. On the back, it's got the cut out and collect little snippet there. And again, all the other figures that came out for this wave. So the style of Leatherhead he is very uh, vintage toy inspired. So just quickly go through some articulation here. His head does twist left and right. His arms, they do move up. It's got a ball joint on the elbow and a 360 on the hand there. His tail is on like a little lever. And his legs do go up and down. They do tilt out a bit. They've got a little ball joint on his knee. And his feet do twist around. Although they are really, really tiny. His tail, the way it's situated, he does stand. It's probably going to keep him balanced because of them tiny, tiny feet. His little hat is moulded onto his head and so are the little goggles as well. It's a shame his mouth doesn't uh, open. It's all just one mould. He does come with a little gun holster. Wrap round his shoulder there, goes right over his waist. And one of his boots, his feet, while well his toes have actually ripped through the boot there. And you can see his little toenails popping out of his boot. So with the gun holster, his little accessory, he comes with a little shotgun. So you can slide it and keep it in store in there just give it a little push hold straight in he does have two gripper hands so he can just hold on to his little shotgun there as well and you can do that in both of the hands Like so. And he does come with a little weapon stand where you can either keep it on the stand itself or they're all held on with these little plastic peggies where you can just bend and snap off. So he comes with a little dagger there, a little like bear trap, some type of like staff weapon, and another little gun. But the weapon stand, if you did snap them off, they've got like these little holders as well. So you could balance and hook them on there if you so please. So with this release, he comes out with another three villains, which I will do a separate review. But it was back in the day where it was, is he a villain? Is he a goodie? So he kept on flip-flopping either side, but they've just put him in the the villain section for this release but there he is guys there's the little review for leatherhead for this one again drop us a like drop us a sub hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others thanks for checking in and i will catch you on the next one